Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, welcome to today's uh, video interview where uh, we have a very, very special guest uh, with us over here at the Spark Group. Um, and we're always uh, interviewing amazing people that are helping us with uh, topics and uh, conversations that trouble us in the business and in life. Uh, before I go further, my name is Marissa and I'm the founder uh, of the Spark Group Asia. We are the SME authority for leadership and business coaching in Asia and also the Acumatch master partner for Malaysia and Singapore. Now, over here, gang, we have Nagi, Nagi Bihilik. So Nagi, thank you for being uh, with us today. Very, very thankful that you could uh, give us the time. Uh, and uh, Nagi is the Acumatch Behavior Intelligence founder. Um, he's also a consultant and transformation leader for most of the past four decades. Um, and in that time, he found uh, that one of the biggest challenges in coaching and transformation is that um, uh, people themselves need to make the change. And change takes time. If you don't know why people do the things that you do, uh, this is where Acumatch comes in to help us to become more intelligent about um, our behavior and go deeper. A lot of people are just exploring themselves at the surface and not getting deeper and uh, our tools here and what Nagi has created for us is to go deeper and below the surface of what we can see in terms of behaviors um, and get to the core problems. So this is a very, very interesting um, uh, uh, tool and also very interesting conversations, Nagi, that I'm very excited to be having with you today. So uh, welcome to our next video with Nagi, uh, where we talk a little bit about one really awesome question that has come through from the floor, where we talk about perfectionism. Oh my gosh, perfection! Being a perfectionist is this good or is it bad? You know, I, we 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 come uh, we come uh, from a place where you know, as an entrepreneur, sometimes we can be too per, uh, focused on the perfection of a product or a service that sometimes, as we try to perfect it. We don't, um, we don't really get it out there, you know, we're getting, and, and so sometimes we can, can get all caught up in there. Uh, and then there are some people on the other hand, um, just don't um, focus on uh, the standards enough, the quality and the standards. So there's just two sides of the same coin. So is, and, and you know, a lot of us grew up thinking high standards are important and a good thing to have. So, you know, what are your thoughts around this, you know, perfectionism? Yeah, um, well, yeah, the first thought that comes to mind is, you know, when, when is enough enough, right? Uh, or, you know, what is the measure of uh, perfectionism? Now, perfectionism can uh, cripple people, you know, it can really stall them from um, moving ahead with something. But on the flip side, you know, uh, there are some people that throw stuff out so quickly that, you know, it doesn't have the rigor to, to stand up past their hands, you know. That's right. That's <laughs> okay. right. yeah. um, so where where should the balance be? Um, the the one thing that I try to you know say to people is um, you can't you know we, we talked once about we can't control the world you know we, we there is limited amount of time that you have to get something out to the world we call it the window of opportunity right in business and um, uh, if you miss that window maybe you miss it because you're spending too much time reworking and reworking and reworking and tweaking and adding this and adding that and I, i'm not really happy with it and the world's changed by the time you get out you know the, the world's changed and it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's the thing that where people have to be careful about is you miss your window of opportunity or you become um, impacted. Uh, you know, it's self-projection. I'm not good enough. Uh, you know, we need to we need to go behind 
the reason for the perfectionism. And we do that in, in the leadership program is we, we look behind the behaviors, you know, where they came from, why are they there, what purpose, you know, did somebody give them to you? You know, all of these things are important for people to understand where their perfectionism coming from, what value does it have, how has it served them in the past, and is it is it practical to take into their their life, you know? Um, some perfectionists, you know, burn the midnight oil. Um, mm. and, and what's that doing to your health, your, your life, right. your relationship, you know? Marriages, um, breakups, all kinds of things happen when people lose sight of balance. Okay. That's right. When they lose sight of balance, trying to be a perfectionist. But a lot of people tend to think that perfectionism is a good quality. Hmm. You know, there's another side of the coin that people think that actually it's good that I'm a perfectionist. So you guys have to keep up with my standards. You have to keep up with my invisible, incredible, infinite uh, level of standard. And sometimes being that person can be um, a lot of people can think that that's good you know to a certain extent um uh, steve jobs was a perfectionist mm. and, he, and he'd, he'd throw phones with just a, a millimeter of screen size it was just not up to par and he'd throw it out the lab and you know and 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 there are a, a, a set of people that would say perfectionism is good how do you get good quality stuff out the door then yeah 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 so, um, depending on, on your focus and, you know, when we talk about Steve Jobs or, or even Intel in the early days, so, you know, I worked for IBM for many years, yes. um, there is a, um, a product leadership uh, position that those people are trying to maintain. Um, but what I do know from having been there with those organizations yes. is we test. We put it in the hands of real people. Real and people, users. Yeah, and we put it in the hands of real people early. Mm. And, and we go over it and we study their responses and their feedback. You know, we don't wait till we've perfected it in a box because by the time you put it in someone's hand, you know, you've missed what they wanted to use it for in the first place. We, we I saw see. a lot of that in the early IT years, you know, companies, um, I worked with some of those companies, consulted to them in, in the transformation area in, in project development. And uh, yeah. they were spending 20, 40, 100 million dollars on projects that when they were delivered, um, were only used partially, if at all. Okay, and, right. and we had to transform that into um, much smaller deliverables that people can use immediately. Okay, mm -hmm. so so the whole uh, perfectionism can lose that energy, that momentum, that window of opportunity, and waste a lot of time building the wrong thing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a really, really good, um, very good tips here, uh, Nagi. And, and my, my takeaway from uh, perfectionism is that uh, everything in moderation, as you share, is that it's our ability to know um, when we get it out there early enough, the window of opportunity cannot be lost. Um, and also uh, knowing how our perfectionism might be affecting our overall um, uh, uh, excessive behavior on the quality without checking with the the marketplace, the users, the the. So it's not about perfecting it, but it's perfecting it while getting the feedback, testing, uh, and measuring the uh, the product uh, uh, throughout the process instead of just being held down to making it better and better. While that's what we think makes it good. We need to keep checking with the marketplace and users and customers as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. No one standard they're expecting. Mm. Yes, exactly. And so I think the challenge with perfectionism is when it is all up in our heads that that is the standard without checking. Yeah. 
Yeah. So perfectionism may be a, a a a good quality, but it's a very bad quality to have when it is just all up in your head what you think is the best standard, but without checking with others. So that's very very good. Thank you very much for helping us uh, get clarity with uh, that question. Uh, and gang, you know what? Uh, those of you who are watching these videos and it's been a blast, please write to us, write to Nagi, write to myself. We'll be very happy to hear from you. And even if it's not a question and you're just, you know, guys, leave a comment in the video below. We'll be very, very happy to hear from you. What in this video has made an impact for you? Um, and if you um, want to ask any further questions, just pop us a line at hello at the sparkgroup.asia. Emails below. Um, visit the website, uh, www.thesparkgroup.asia as well. Be very, very happy to be able to help you with anything further.